Okay, so one of my absolute favorite knives, the Benchmade Griptilian. There's a number of different models and versions. This is the 550 HG Griptilian. Comes in this little drawstring pouch, which once I take it out, I never use again. Some of the things I really like about the knife is the axis lock. This is a very solid lock, positively acts on the blade, and what I like about it, it is operated by either your index finger here or your thumb here, and your th you can operate it with your hand in a position to open the knife. You can also close the knife just by pushing that lock down rather than having to push a lock back button here which generally requires two hands or a liner lock button here which puts your finger in the path of the closing blade I think the axis lock is much superior to either of those systems some of the things I look for in a blade is that the point is in line with the handle we certainly have that here that provides good stabbing puncturing ability there's a little bit of a belly which gives good slicing this is a hollow ground blade I believe the steel is 134 it's a stainless steel I'm not that big on all the different types of steel um, this works for me. I've owned and carried Griptilians for about 10 years now every day. I uh, find them to be sharp, to stay sharp, and when they need to be touched up I am capable of bringing them back to um, shaving sharp, which is what I'm looking for. So I find it a very usable steel. The grip is very nicely done. The name is Griptilian. The reason being is because it is very uh, grippy. It's a hard plastic. I don't know if it's a grass, glass impregnated nylon, but it has uh, pretty good ridges here. It's got jimping uh, or uh, some sort of grooving here for your thumb. Uh, there's also some grooving here for where your index finger rides and it also has it back here which is good if you're going to hold the knife in a reverse grip it does come with a pocket clip and one of the nice features about the pocket clip is it's reversible so there's holes for it on this side so if you want to carry this right now it's set up for right hand carry point up point up is critical and we'll come to that in a minute um, but if you want to carry it in your left hand pocket you can just switch the clip over there just using some small allen wrenches um, I actually carry two griptilians one in my left side one on my right side so I swap them on one of my knives another nice feature about the griptilian is that it also has a training version so we have a nice red handle so you can tell it's a training knife and it is an inert blade there's a, a dull tip dull edge everything else is exactly the same so if you want to train with the knife as a fighter this is a good opportunity to do so <clears throat> one of the nice things about the griptilians is it opens very nicely with just a wrist rotation and once again by releasing the axis lock and giving a little slick flip you can close it very easily one-handed. This is a brand new knife and so it's still a little stiff on the closing. Once it's been broken in a little bit, it closes a little bit better. I really like the idea that I can open, use, and close the knife with one hand. My other hand might be busy doing something like holding on to something if up on a ladder
but there's a quick modification we can do using a Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel that makes this even slicker. Let's take a look at that. If you've ever looked at uh, the Emerson Wave knives, they have a stud in this area of the blade sticking out that when the knife is pulled from the pocket, that stud grabs cloth and opens the blade automatically. Very, very slick. Fastest way to get a knife into, into action that I know of. If you remove that amount of metal from this blade, you end up with a stud that acts exactly like the Emerson Wave. You still have enough material here to act as an opening assist if you need it, but you really don't with the axis lock and a good wrist rotation for opening. So let's get the Dremel cutoff tool and uh, take that piece of metal out. Okay, that's cut one complete. Okay, I've cleaned the cut up and you can clearly see the part that's missing and I've rounded all those edges. They don't need to be sharp. That stud just sticking out there is plenty enough to catch on your clothing. So let's see how it works in action. Okay, I've got the mods done on the Griptilian and it's in my pocket. You can see the pocket clip here. Now the way this works is stick your thumb into your pocket between the Griptilian and the inside of your pocket. Index finger goes along the pocket clip. There's actually kind of a little cutout there that provides tension but it's actually a great finger groove. And then just smartly withdraw the knife. This allows me to keep one hand on the work, open the knife, cut, put the knife away, all with one hand. I find that to be very useful. Most people carry in their front pocket, but I also find that it works very well in the back pocket. And if you're wearing something like BDUs, that flap will kind of cover the pocket clip and make you a little lower profile. Opening's the same way. Stick your thumb in middle finger or index finger, doesn't really matter which one, goes on the pocket clip, withdraw smartly, the blade opens automatically. And look how nicely this closes. My fingers are out of the path of the closing blade. I release the tension on the axis lock. I can do that either with my index finger or my thumb or both. And then a quick flip, closes. Open, close, open, close. How slick is that? I'll do it a little slower for you so you can sort of see what's happening. At full speed, it's so fast, you can't even follow it.
So along with all its other fine features, a great blade shape with a little bit of belly for good slicing, point being in line with the grip, the grip being good for both forward and reverse grip, as well as blade forward and blade reverse. I find this to be a lot easier than any other knife system, whether it's a folder or even a sheath knife. Because you have a sheath knife and you're trying to figure out where to put it you have to take your eyes off what you're doing and look for the sheath, put the knife back in because you don't want to put it in the wrong place. I'm Peter Burlingame of the Self-Defense Initiative. Thank you for watching.